I'm Anil Kumar and in this series I will teach you my way of learning trigonometry. The question here is sine of x equals to minus 4 over 5 where x is between pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. We need to evaluate sine of 2a. Now whenever you see trigonometric ratio you should always see it in two different parts. For example here we have sine x equals to minus 4 over 5. So the two parts are one the magnitude which is 4 over 5 and the second one is the sine negative. So if you see like this it will be easier for you to understand and solve any question relating to trigonometry. Now let's analyze this part. So that really means is 4 over 5 means we, we are talking about a triangle always consider the triangle in the first quadrant. It becomes easy for us to, you know, write expressions. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, correct. So, opposite side here is 4, which is right there. The hypotenuse is 5. And you can always find the third side, which is 5 square minus 4 square square root. And as you know, it is 3, right? So, this angle is x for us and that's 90 degrees. So the magnitude part gives us this right triangle with principal angle which is also the acute angle as x. Now let's look into the negative part. We know all are positive in quadrant 1, sine is positive in quadrant 2, tan in 3 and cosine in 4. Now when we say that x is greater than or equal to pi by 2 and less than or equal to 3 pi by 2 that means we are talking about x being somewhere in this area correct that's what we're trying to say now when sine is negative it means it is only in quadrant 3 right so that is how we know that this value of x should be in quadrant 3 where sine is negative cosine is also negative right so that is how we should actually look at the given value now let us try to solve this question so as i was saying sine x is given to us as negative of 4 over 5 right so that gave us a triangle opposite side being 4 hypotenuse being 5 you can find the other side which is basically 5 square minus 4 square square root and that is equal to 3 which I have written there. Now since x is between pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 we are sure that x lies in quadrant 3 since sine is negative in quadrant 3 sine is positive in quadrant 2 so it cannot lie in quadrant 2. Now if sine x is minus 4 over 5 what is cos of x? From this triangle, cos of x is adjacent over hypotenuse 3 over 5. Since the angle is in quadrant 3, cos is negative here. So we'll put negative. So as I said, look into these trigonometric ratios as some value with sine. Then it will be very easy for you to solve any equation based on these trigonometric ratios. Correct? Now we need to evaluate sine of 2a. Sine of 2a is a misprint. It should be sine of 2x, correct? We're talking about angle x. So we'll evaluate sine of 2x. We know sine of 2x is 2 times sine x cos x. So we can substitute the above values and then calculate. So we have minus 4 over 5 times minus 3 over 5, correct? So that gives us 3 times 4 as 12, 12 times 2 is 24. As far as the sign is concerned, negative times negative is positive, right? And 5 times 5 is 25. So we get our answer, that is, sign 2x is equals to 24 over 25, correct? So that is how you have to solve these questions. Again, whenever you see trigonometric ratio, its value should be treated in two different parts. One related to the sine 
and the other one relating to its magnitude. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn good ways of simplifying solutions. Thank you.